Hello everyone. I had a viewer comment on my Kuva Nucor video with the Grendel weapon buff build, and they were asking about the Cyanex with secondary encumber. This pistol is a sentient pistol, and when you shoot an enemy, it actually shoots off a little less than one meter explosion. The hit itself can only do impact damage, and then the explosion uh, is gas damage, so it looks like this. It always goes through one enemy and then stops on the next one. If you use Zata's Whisper, it will just go through the... or It'll hit the enemy and then come back on him. Once it procs, you can see it just hits the enemy like that. So this will be really good for building up status chance. This thing has good status on both hits, the explosion and the shot itself. So the comment itself was asking if this weapon could work with a hemorrhage slash build since it does impact damage. This thing does not force an impact proc, it is a status chance, so you have to get status on this build. And this gun is just bad. It has a small magazine, it has a terribly long reload, its fire rate's fine but not good, and it's not like low enough to get the 70% chance uh, for the slash. But it doesn't really matter anyway, because this is kind of low base damage, it's really not great. And then the critical multiplier and the critical chance is just straight trash. So getting good slash procs out of this thing is basically impossible. But surprisingly, it doesn't work terrible. So this is the build I made. The couple slots that aren't with something you need to put prime quick draw here for a faster reload, definitely. It just doesn't fit right now. And then for the Exilus slot, I would be definitely putting the prime pistol ammo mutation. And then... Yeah, secondary encumber, it works fine. Like, this thing does build up status effects really fast. But it just has such a small magazine. So how this thing works, basically just the raw damage of this weapon is just pretty good with all these mods and all these buffs that are going to be on it. Especially when we're just proccing viral instantly onto enemies. And then the slash procs aren't terrible. Especially if our Avenger procs me start getting some crits which it just didn't that entire time but yeah so it's definitely works definitely works but i'm pretty sure it's mostly the raw damage that's doing this to enemies like if we're gonna shoot a demolist i'll show you just not that good for killing demolists i don't think i had this proc that whole time that could have been a mistake Yeah, 15,000, 17,000 for a crit. And here's the Demolist. So it definitely eats through him some. But it's just not that great. And then we need Avenger to be procced to be doing like really heavy damage. So I'm pretty sure if you're going to use this in like Steel Path or something, because I don't think you're going to build a level cap with a build like this. If you're going to go into Steel Path, I'm going to show you a different build you should use probably. And for the raw damage build, we have on Corrosive right here. Since we're already getting Viral from Grendel, this will just do damage against the armored targets. And then we have on Prime T to Charge to proc Heat with Cascadia Flare. This will give us all of our damage on our build so we don't have to use a uh, Hornet Strike. Plus this is like more than double the damage. And we're doing this, we're just putting on a ton of damage and we're going to get even more elemental damage from Viral because Galvanized Shot is actually multiplicative on this weapon. It is not additive. So basically by additive, what I mean is it would just become a damage mod when you have a status effect on. It would just be the, if you have one status effect on, it would just basically act as a 120% damage Hornet strike. But since it's multiplicative, it acts like Eclipse, the ability from Mirage, where after our damage, elemental damage, and like our base damage is all calculated together, it actually multiplies after the fact, all of that. So. It's much better than just being an additive bonus. So this does kind of redeem the weapon slightly, slightly, slightly. So then, you know, multi-shot, faction damage, reload speed, it's needed. And then you can put on, I put on, no, not that. That's for like, if you're using a different frame. Yeah, critical damage since we're still using Arcane Avenger. So this is what this looks like. Just melted. Absolutely melted. Yeah, much better than the hemorrhage. It's just the slash procs aren't good, so hemorrhage is bad, is all it is. But the raw damage from this thing is still pretty impressive. And then, of course, as I said, 
prime pistol aim mutation. So if you want to use this on another frame that's not Grendel, I would suggest swapping the electricity out for uh, the cold to make viral. So you have viral yourself since you're not going to have Grendel. And then also you might not have Arcane Avenger. So then, yeah, I would slot on the lethal torrent that I had on a second ago. And it's just not going to be that good because this weapon's not that good. I'll show you how it looks like. Just throw on Nidus. Let me get a few kills before you pass judgment. And yeah, just not that hot. And these aren't even like corrupted heavy gunners. I think arid gunners have less health than corrupted. No, it didn't do bad. It didn't do bad at all, honestly. Demless died before I even like looked at him. Yeah, it's not bad. One thing I did not mention with the Grendel build is that this weapon actually has an alternate fire. Let me build up my base damage real quick. All right, it's at max. And what it does is it magazine dumps. And it actually does a lot of damage because it's doing like 25% more base damage than the primary fire. And then the primary fire is being shared between two enemies when you're not having Zatas. So it definitely appears like the mag dump does a lot more damage. And it definitely has a much higher fire rate. So if you're using a normal frame, go ahead and use the mag dump on like really heavy enemies like a disruptor. But when you're using Zatas Whisper, you don't need to because both of the primary fires are just going to come back and hit the enemy. And then also the mag dump doesn't circle around and hit the enemy again, even if you have punch through on it. So the reason I didn't have these builds finished is because I'm going to try and do a weird build and level cap with it. So let me f reform my weapon and run that and I'll tell you if it goes well or not. Okay, so I edited down the last round that I played and I'm going to voice over it because I never see anyone explain what they're doing in Warframe and I think it's a beneficial thing. So I put in the last or the first key and now I need to stack up my galvanized mods, my galvanized diffusion and galvanized shot. So I have my multi-shot and multiplicative damage and to kill all the enemies, I have to armor strip them and I'm using the Unira Focus School for that. I just ran over there to check for the Demolist and I didn't hear it, so now I'm just going over here. The knocks are so annoying. I hate that they slow you down. And then I'm just short dashing because I didn't know where the Demolist was at first. And then I'm priming them up and I'm shooting them. I use the primary fire, now the alternate fire. And I'm just trying to see what's working better. The primary fire wasn't working because it was smacking into the wall while I was trying to rotate around. So it was only doing one of the hits. So the alternate fire was definitely better there. Now it's the health drain and I have the operator arcane called Magus Elevate. And it basically heals you for like 300, 600 health or something whenever you go in and out of your Warframe. It's a 95% chance to heal. So you gotta be careful of the 5% chance that you don't heal and then do it again. And here I kind of flub my rotation on this Demolist. I didn't prime him first with my Kuva Ogress. I just shot him. So it kind of makes it weird because I'm not shooting them in the head now with my Zata's Whisper bubble. But it ends up being fine. I just keep going in on my operator to make sure I'm alive and make sure I th everything's good. I don't think I talk about it in the post comments, but my Kuva Ogress has on the elements. It has a magnetic progenitor. Then it also has on radiation and cold. And that's because my Cyanex has on heat, gas, and something else. Oh, viral. Yeah, of course. And then also my Kuva Ogress does all the physical elements as well. So here I'm just stacking my galvanized mods. I fall, so I roll in guard because I lose my buffs and then I just recast my buffs. And I do hear the Demolist to the left. I'm just trying to make sure I'm fully stacked because I have not killed an enemy recently. So I got it and I rush over and stop him with lockdown. And then make sure I hit him in the head and then watch this alternate fire here. Drrr, gone, just so good. And I explain why in the post comments. So here I put in the key, there was an acolyte and he just gets destroyed by my exotic contagion as they all do. That's why you take exotic contagion with you, so good. And then just the normal stack in the galvanized shot. If there's anything new here, anything to talk about really. It did get kind of hard to kill any enemy with Overguard on it, even though void damage is good against them with Zata's Whisper. 
Oh, here, I do kind of flub. I don't shoot with the Ogress first again, because I'm bad at this game. Or maybe because I was playing for three hours, I don't know. So I just kind of reset, make sure I get a kill, lock him down, make sure I get the headshot. And now I switch up and kill it. So that's it. That's all it is. So I extracted then. Uh, I think I got to level cap around like two and a half hours. I did take like a break and while you pause it still goes. So it's really hard to tell exactly how long it took me. But I was only in the mission for three hours and 14 minutes including the pauses. Okay, so that was pretty successful. I did level cap and that was first try. That was the first time I ever used Revenant and uh, that's not bragging. That's just like this was easy mode. Uh, Zata's Whisper carried so hard. It's so good. And then so for the build I just used the more normal multi shot. Obviously our multiplicative damage here. A faction mod. Reload speed because it absolutely needs it. And then I used viral damage for the cloned flesh because I was constantly armor stripping. The Prime Heated Charge again to stack Cascade A Flare, and then also it's just a huge damage multiplier since it's 165%. The Critical Damage, which did not come in very often, I think when Revenant's invis invincible, even if he kills an enemy, it won't take away health. So I think that it was really hard to proc the Arcane Avenger, but if there was ever like shield, uh, what's that called? Shield Drain or like electricity damage hitting me and like breaking my shield, it would like automatically proc Arcane Avenger. And I would use that to my advantage sometimes when I had like electric conduits and stuff. And then Prime Pistol Ammo Mutation. And just having this on was, I had no ammo problems at all, like zero, it was so easy. But so all of that, and then for the arcanes, I needed a lot of fire rate just to get these like bullets out of there. So arcane velocity and arcane avenger, of course, I already talked about with combat discipline. So then I put on Zata's Whisper because that makes it so when I do damage, basically just does damage again, uh, 75, 77% in void damage. And it does different things with headshot multipliers and faction multipliers. So it's just really strong. It's like doing the the insane the insane amount of damage I'm already doing. I'm just doing it again plus more. I'm pretty sure with Zata's. And then yeah, Mesmer skin because you're invincible. Lol. Uh, vigorous swap for more base damage, and then the rest is just strength, energy regen, and rolling guard on Revenant is just omega easy mode. And then of course I used a Exotic Contagions all to just nuke the acolytes so they were never even a problem. You can see when, probably in the few clips that I put, you'll see me use the alternate fire, and it's because I found out it is actually better than the regular fire in some cases. Okay, what I was trying to say is when I have Zata's procced on an enemy, it's going to hit them in their head every time I shoot at this thing. But if you notice, whenever I shoot them, the first shot hits their head, but the next shot that wraps around does not hit their head. So that's just wasting damage. So if I just alt fire, they're all just going to hit their head only once, but that's fine because the base damage of the alt fire, I already said, is higher. So since I'm just multiplying base damage like crazy in this build, that's just going to be good. Let me just rip this off so you can see. So the base damage of the first hit is 50. That's with the primary fire. Then with the alternate fire, it's 72. So it's just going to be a bigger number to just put all my multipliers into and just do more damage. Because when it's only hitting the head once, it's better than hitting the head with less damage and then hitting the body because of the 3x multiplier and Zata's, how that works. Then, of course, the explosion damage is just not good because... What is it? Galvanized shot? Only affects direct damage so aoe weapons do not get the multiplicative uh properties or if you're using an aoe weapon it might pr it's probably additive or something just this weapon the multiplicativeness does not apply to the aoe so that's why the alternate fire ended up being better in a lot of cases plus it's just faster dps it's literally just the same amount of shots going into their head okay i hope i gave this weapon enough of a look to impress or satisfy some of you so I, this was not in my plan for videos, so I just got this out, did all this in like a day. And again, I'm still going to do a Mirage tech video, and then hopefully, it's probably not going to happen this week, but like the ultimate, ultimate disruption build for, it's going to be great. Just stay tuned.
uh, subscribe so you don't miss that. And comment if you have any questions or anything I could have done better in this video. And I'll see you later.